Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. I'm in the 72 Mustang right now. It's powered by a 302 two barrel. It's an automatic transmission. It drives good, steers good, brakes are good, but it needs some the car needs some restoration. I mean, it's one you can drive it home, but it needs some things done to it. It's showing 59,081 miles. It sat for a number of years, so I don't know if it's 151, but it does drive pretty tight. The steering wheel's been changed to a Grant uh, GT steering wheel. I'm gonna walk around the outside, but the dash is in very good condition. Door panels look good. The seats are nice. The headliner looks original. It's got some wrinkles in the back. You see the back seat is in good shape. It's got a JVC CD player, and I haven't figured out how to make it work. But you can see some overspray where the car's been painted. Looks like it was kind of a yellow color and they painted it more of an orange. It's got some Flowmaster exhausts on it. I'm missing a molding right here. I just want you to hear it. It sounds good. The shift's good, smooth. This door doesn't open from the outside. It'll open from the inside. And you can see the paint. The paint is shiny on the hood, the front fenders, the doors. The roof is kind of dull. And going down on the quarter panels, it's dull. The deck lid is glossy. So it needs some good, probably color sanding and buffing. The tires have good tread, but they're older. They should really be replaced, you know, if the car is put on the road. It's got the original Mustang hubcaps. The front bumper needs to be re-chromed. It's just got some uh, rust surface popping through. It needs to be sandblasted and chromed. I'm gonna pop the hood and show you the rest of the car. It's had the carburetor cleaned out, the fuel tank cleaned out. So it's, she is running, she's turning good, she's stopping good. There's some little rust places here and there on the car. You can see a bubble right here by the fender well. There's a place here on the door. Still got the original Ford sticker. Some of the, the paint's coming off that armrest. And again, the car's not terrible, it just needs, needs some love. It's a restoration project that you could put some tires on and you could just start driving it. Under the hood is a 302 two-barrel. It's had some new plug wires put on it. It's also had, had new belts, new hoses, new alternator, battery, bolt, the starter solenoid. It's the original hair cleaner showing the 302 two barrel. Runs off regular fuel. The core support looks all original. And this is an air conditioned car, but there's no compressor. So if you wanted to put it back, you would need to probably maybe replace the condenser, run some lines. But it does have the controls on the dash. So you could, you could get the AC working again if you wanted to. Uh, it's power brakes, but there's a lot of what I call flash rust, which is surface rust. These parts can be taken off, sandblasted, and repainted just to dress it up. The hood is slick on the top. Underneath, it's had some 
Looks like they've used some fiberglass and did a little a little rust repair on the hood. But she's running and driving, cosmetically challenged in a few places, but really not bad. I'm gonna pop the trunk, let you get a little glimpse of inside the trunk. The shifter, when you try to put it in park, well, now it's going in nice. It was, there it goes. It kind of sticks, so you kind of gotta help it a little bit. And there's your control, shows air conditioning, cool, hot, the JVC sound system. This would be a good father-son fixer up or you can put some Mac wheels on it. And these tires are, they are old. They're Firehawks. And I was looking for the date. Yeah, there it is, 2009. So they definitely need to be replaced. They do have a lot of tread. There's a place where the rear bumper's kind of pushed in. You can see right here. And it kind of got a little kink right there. So if she just needs a little bit of love, not a terrible car, but how often can you buy one to restore and you can drive it home? It's got the jack instructions in the trunk. The floor of the trunk looks solid. Looks like there's a heater core. Maybe the, the heater core is bad. The inside of the quarter panels look good. I mean, she's, she's kind of all there. But if you're looking for a Mustang that you can fix it up and make it your own and it won't break the bank, this would be a good, good place to start. <coughs> the motor's pretty peppy, but it's, it will run on regular fuel. If you have any questions, give us a call. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails and hope to see you in our showroom soon.